Hello, I'm Brian Chan. I'm a regional technical manager here at KMM Networks, supporting fixed wireless broadband and enterprise customers. Uh, hello, everyone. And this is Asif here. Um, I'm the director of enterprise solution engineering uh, here in KMM Networks. And today we wanted to talk to you guys about a CMISO X feature called XA. So XA stands for um, X Assurance, which basically is a suite of features that will assure network performance. And it includes features like Wi-Fi client analytics, which shows success or failure of client connectivity in different phases of connectivity, going all the way from associating to an SSID, all the way to connecting to the internet, which is a very powerful tool for troubleshooting. Uh, there's also an XA feature called Client, client Lifecycle, which shows the timeline of connectivity and it shows all of the events with disconnects and, and connections. Uh, so today we have a real world example that we wanted to share with you guys. Our chief marketing officer ran into a problem yesterday at around 1.30 to 1.40 p.m. where she was on a Microsoft Teams call, but she had issues with disconnects as well as uh, loss of audio. And in her laptop, it appeared as though her Wi-Fi symbol was flashing in and out. So, Azif, how would you troubleshoot this problem using the XA suite of features? Sure, Dan. So, uh, you mentioned CMO uh, had a voice call or Teams call around 1.30, and she got disconnected and connected back and faced some voice degradation, right? So, let, let me wondering as a step one, let me share my screen and go to our CMO CN Maestro instance account and let's find out the laptop. So uh, right now I am on uh, 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 our CMO CN Maestro instance and on the system level, I know this is the site. Uh, she's uh, she she has her access points are now let's go to uh, the Wi-Fi clients tab now. Uh, Right now, there are 11 wireless clients connected, but I could not find her laptop in here. Uh, it's a work laptop you mentioned, right? So it's not here. Uh, let me check last seven days of history. OK, and uh, these are the devices connected for last seven days. And I can see work laptop here. And right now, it is in the disconnected state. OK, now let's click on. Oh, sorry, let me go back again. Last seven days, let's go to work laptop. So the ability to, to see uh, so the ability to see devices that were connected in the past that are not currently connected. Uh, that's a Maestro X feature, correct? So we can go back to the previous 24 yeah. hours as well as the previous seven days. It shows all of the connections. That's right. So right now uh, our CMOS laptop is not connected to the uh, Wi-Fi, but we what we did is we went back and this in the disconnected state. Uh, and this is the uh, uh, the laptop's dashboard or client dashboard, which will give you all the details of the client, uh, which type manufacturer, etc., and when it's connected, when it's disconnected, etc. Right. But you mentioned uh, the issue happened yesterday, right? Uh, now I'm going to the life cycle of this particular laptop, mm -hmm. uh, life cycle tab, and I can go last seven days of life cycle. The issues you mentioned it's happened yesterday. Let's go to 10 January, right? And uh, you mentioned around 1, 1.30 to 1.40 p.m. Correct. So I can see some events happen between 1.30 to 1 45 p.m. Right. So this is this how you can zoom in. Now let's analyze. Right. Uh, our CMO laptop is connected to 5 gigahertz on this particular AP till 135. And this got a disconnection. Right. If you you can see this is a disconnect event. And uh, let's click on that event to identify what's the reason for the disconnect. Right. So our assurance uh, was clearly the reason for the disconnect, right? Telling us the client disconnect due to a channel change. It means at that particular or at, at that time, 135, the uh, radio changed the channel. Uh, that's the reason it got disconnected and it connected to 
uh, 2.4 GHz. You can see in 2.4 GHz, it's authenticate, associated, authenticated, got the DHCP and DNS, then connected to internet. Maybe this is the time frame, Brian, you mentioned the laptop was showing a poor uh, voice quality. Mm -hmm. Then you, you, you can write, yeah, so when she when she was forced to change the connection from that AP uh, to another AP, would that have caused a loss of audio? Yes, yes. Uh, no, okay. it, here it is. It is on the same AP itself. It's same AP, but on a different channel uh, band, right? It gotcha. was on five gigahertz. It's moved to two point four. You know, two point four is congested, and it got uh, uh, poor degradation. But interestingly, after three minutes, right? It got connected back to five gig again. And uh, let's see the reason for that. Uh, the disconnection reason, client roamed to another radio on the same access point. It clearly tell us the client itself decided to roam from 2.4 to five gigahertz because there may be a lot of packet error rate happened and the client logic for changing the channel, uh, uh, changing uh, a better BSSID, it would have roamed from 2.4 to 5 gig. That's what happened here. Right. That's a lot and of good one, information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, then you see after after uh, around 1.39 p.m., it got connected. All phases are good, and it was stably connected. So this is what uh, a history of uh, what happened, right? Now, why this channel changed, right? Why uh, she was on 5 gig? Uh, it got disconnected due to a channel change. Why this channel change? We need to find out, right? And there's a reason mm -hmm. for the radio to switch the channel, right? Now, uh, let's click on the event here. Uh, this happened around 1.35 p.m., right? Uh, on 10 January, disconnect. Let's go to that AP, okay? This is an actionable link. I'm clicking there. Went to that AP and go to the notification and find out events. What are the events happened at that time, right? 10 January, around 1.35 p.m. You can see this event. There's a channel switch from uh, 64 to channel 100. There is uh, and 64 and move to a DFS channel uh, 100 and radio went for a CAC time for one minute, right? And what does On CAC stand for? What, what is that CAC acronym? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, it's a channel availability check. Whenever a radio moves from, it's a standard. Whenever the radio moves from uh, a DF one DFS channel to a, another DFS channel or a non DFS to a DFS channel, the radio has to go for a uh, channel availability check. It has to check for any radar signals. For in US, it's one minute. In some other mm -hmm. countries, it maybe goes for ten minutes or so. This based on the country code, the time difference. I think here, because it's in the US, it, it wait for a minute. So for, for a minute, actually, there is no beacon goes out from that radio. So no wireless clients will be able to connect to radio too. That's why this, uh, our CMO laptop connected from 5 gig to 2.4 gig. Gotcha, okay. And so here in the US, in North America, uh, the DFS bands are in 5.2 and 5.4, right? Are there any uh, channels that uh, we should be aware of that we should potentially avoid if we are close to any sort of uh, weather radar st stations? Yeah, yeah, good point. So uh, usual recommendation is uh, uh, if you are using radar channels or DFS channels, DFS channels in US, it varies from 52 to channel 52 to channel 144 of DFS channels, right? And in between, there are some radar channels like 120 to 128 are weather channels. So we can avoid the weather channels because that's more seen on uh, anywhere in the US. So, so we will we will avoid, we try to avoid the weather channel and uh, the remaining channel can be uh, added in the channel list. Got it, thanks. Okay, now, now uh, we, let's do some more analysis, right? So this happened at 135. And if you go down, again, there is a channel switch happened around 1120. That means approximately two hours before. And if you scroll down, again, there is another event happened around two, two and a half hours. 
So we can clearly see there is a two to and a half hours of difference every time this radio is changing the channel. Now I'm suspecting something on a configuration and it's it's hit by auto RF, right? Now mm -hmm. let's click on the configuration. Let's go and check what's the configuration there. Now these are all actionable link. I'm clicking from one point, right? We were on the client dashboard, then clicked on access point. It takes you to access point from their notification, right? It's all actionable link, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going in a flow of troubleshooting, right? So now I'm in the configuration page and see on the five gigahertz, what is the configuration looks like? And in the auto order, okay, dynamic channel is enabled, perfect. And uh, I see that the channel hold time is set to 120 minutes, right? That means approximately two hours. So every two hours, our auto RF algorithm hit and uh, uh, finds a new uh, DB and uh, creates a new DB and refresh it and check any new channel is there, then change it. So usual recommendation for whole time is a, a day on 440 is what uh, we recommend. So this is, that's why you see every two hours or two and a half hours, the channel is getting changed. Every time it's getting changed, there is a CAC time for one minute, then uh, all the clients are connected to five years, get disconnect and go to 2.4. You see a bad voice degradation or bad Wi Fi connectivity. Then, when the channel comes back, right, it, you can see uh, then. So, then it, the connection is stable. So, the fix is to configure a hold down time channel for uh, a day. Okay, one other thing too. So if it was not changing channels in the DFS band, if it was doing it in 5.1 or 5.8, uni 1 and 4, I believe, um, if you had CBS or continuous, or sorry, no, the channel switch announcement checked, would that have helped to prevent some of these issues? Oh, uh, that's a very good question, right? <laughs> yes. So we do have a channel switch announcement configuration. That's right. So this is uh, very useful when uh, when the when the AP moves from one channel to another channel, it will update to the client. Okay, I'm moving to this channel. But uh, uh, the radio has to go through a CAC interval of one minute, right? That mm -hmm. you can't avoid. That's the standard. Right, right. but so that's only in the DSS this, bands, right? In five one or five yeah. eight, there's no CAC time. That's right, that's right. Okay. So let's configure this and save this. It will push to the access point and uh, um, this issue should have, should resolve. Okay, beautiful. So to summarize, um, our CMO had issues yesterday that we were quickly able to um, determine the root cause for uh, within minutes. Uh, so we could quickly identify what the problem was, and you just saw how easy it was to, to fix that problem. All right, thanks everyone for your time. Thanks, Brian. Thanks everyone.